In the final project, we develop a cloud simulation that renders realistic clouds. We simulate three different types of clouds including polygon cloud, geometric cloud, and volumetric cloud. Polygon cloud is used to generate cloud C, which is done by subdivide a mesh into 100,000 of polygons. Then, we use the Unity built-in shader graph to add gradient noise. To create a richer visual effect, we can also apply parallax mapping to make the surface look bumpy. These two images show the cloud C with and without parallax mapping. As you can see, the one with parallax mapping is rougher and has more details. We painted an awesome terrain using the Unity Terrain tool. It is always a gorgeous view to climb high up to the mountain peak and watch the sea of clouds flow beneath your feet. Another very different style for clouds is widely used in cartoons and games. We call it geometric cloud. Meaning that it is constructed from solid geometries. We use ray marching and smooth minimum function to blend spheres together for generating organic shapes. We animated cloud motion by writing scripts in Unity to assign random motion to sphere primitives. Then by extending the rendering pipeline and blending previous frames, we can create phantom effect. Armed with the knowledge of ray marching, we went off to try out volumetric clouds that uses physically based volume rendering to render with realism. Cloud shapes can be model as density distribution in a volume box. So we can use a tessel and a three-dimensional texture to represent the density at that point. We use whirly noise to model the bubbly shapes of a typical cloud. Then we can add more variations by storing layers of 3D whirly noise and RGNB channels of a render texture. We visualize this three-dimensional texture by slicing the three-dimensional texture and change the slice depth with time. Clouds are composed of many tiny water droplets that reflect and refract light. After a bit of research, we learned about this volume rendering model that describes light absorption and volume scattering. Then we use the powerful ray marching tool again to sample the density and estimate light transmittance based on the volume rendering equation. The final epic moment deserves its own time. Enjoy it.